Paintbrush, no pad to easel. Been painting with a twist before, sipping with my people. Stacking lines, equal sign is versus the prequel. To the man you hear before you flowing through your speakers. Hempstead nights, silky slim with the pearly whites. Earned a rap, being smooth with the ladies. Plus, could fight, kept the knife in his inside coat pocket. 22 strap on his ankle as another option. Protege of chocolate, Tay and OG from around the way. Used to run numbers and push, yay. No Yeezy. We in here, baby. Sir. Coordination, what up? It's your boy Tino in the building. Trim in the building. Chuck in the building. Walter Aaron in the building. And we got, listen, first of all, I want to say before we get started, I love all y'all, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's crazy that to, to have a project that's put together by all my, like literally all my brothers touched this project, with, you know, the people that I really, really, really love and, 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 and saying admire so it, it's, it's it's a dope feeling man it's the one and only core room in the building shout out to sure, everybody liking sure. subscribing you know uh just just want to say listen man we've been doing we, we've been doing this for for three years the core room we we, we we like you know we started out with like two two views two natural views we had like thirty four thousand views in the in, in the youtube streets you know what I'm saying? Ooh, we about 1,600, 1,600 uh, subscribers in the YouTube street. So we, 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 we moving, we shaking. Consistency is royalty, you know what I'm saying? So uh, shout out to everybody out there, active in the chats, active in the sharing, active in the likes. We appreciate y'all, man. But this is a special episode. As you can see, the background doesn't even look like the regular background. Man. You know, normally you see the call room, but you know, back there, I mean, you can't see it because we covered it, but uh that that's 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 our two years worth of work there man mm. uh the renaissance project is finally here you know every time every time y'all every time the show starts i see old mugs 323 23 well now it's finally here and we got old mugs in the building that's our special guest everybody give up my my brother <laughs> old mugs in the building man Good, good, fellas. Man, yeah, we, 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 we happy to have you, bro. This is a special day. Like I said, like I said in the beginning, it's almost Christmas for me, Mugs and Trent, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 work, you know, it, it's it's crazy. <laughs> Mugs, I, one thing I know about Mugs, Mugs like to get he like to do the work and he like to get it out to the world like facts. Mm. I think I think I think this ep, this 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 project right here, I think it was a little it was a little challenging for him to hold on to it. You know what I'm saying? Because he put a lot of hard work into this. You know what I'm saying? You could tell by the bar level. You could tell by, you know, just the, the, the subject matter. Um, you know, it, it's it's a lot of a lot of deep thoughts in there if you really dig in. You know what I'm saying? A lot of concepts in, in, the, in the album. And we, we're going to get into all of that, man. Uh, but like I said, we got we, uh, we had Troy in the building, but Troy dropped, dropped off. I'm sure we'll get him back in there in a minute. But how y'all feeling, man? Everybody good? Everybody good on this Sunday, man? Good, so I'm blessed, huh? Good, man. Good, Thanks, man. Chuck, you good, bro? You know you good? Sure, bro. It's working on this project that I will disclose at a later time. Mm. So, I'm tired. <laughs> Tired, all right. Hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong with being tired, man. That's hard. That's hard work, man. Walt, oh, yeah. you good? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Hey, by the way, Walt is newly married. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Dude, oh, that congratulations, blessing on that uh that bond, son, for real. Yeah, yeah you know, long he, journey. Right, exactly, exactly. So you know, um, you know, he, he, he knew in the game. We we gonna, we gonna teach him a little something. Hey, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah. But 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 you no. Know, so today, like I said, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate uh, the Renaissance Project. We gonna we gonna dig into deep about, about mugs and and a lot of you know. I'm hoping to find out some things I don't know. Mm. There's a gap between the time the time that 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 mugs wrapped and now that I don't know about. 
and mm-hmm. and I, I, I want to really, really, really dig because he, he I, I, just like a, just like all of us. Well, first of all, just to say, me and Muggs grew up with each other. We grew up in Hempstead. Shout out to Hempstead always. Shout right. out to Hempstead. Um, we grew up with each other. We we came up elementary school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Babies in the game. I remember. Hey, I'm quick. So I remember going to Muggs' house. I remember he probably don't remember. I, I, Mug, first of all, I remember Muggs didn't have many people in his house. I, I, I do remember that. I don't know why. Right, see? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 they wasn't on that. Right, but this one time, this one time, she, they let, and I remember, did you have a downstairs? Okay. Like, yeah, no. yeah, I remember that. You had a down, like a yeah. basement was laid out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I remember it being fixed up. And, uh, but I remember, I remember his pops, RP, man, RP to his pops, right. man. And, and, and he was, oh, he was nice, but he was stern. You know what I'm saying? I, I I do remember that, but but yeah, shout out to the everybody on the desert side of things on the desert. Uh, but yeah, me 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 and Muggs grew up with each other, and we um. Oh, by the way, we got Troy in the building. You know what I'm saying? We, we, sure. we, 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 Troy, 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 Troy is it? Troy is one of the, the he he me and him are the one of the besides Trim producing the whole album. Me and Troy is the only outside produce outside of trim that that produced a song on this and we'll get into that everything in a minute but we just kind of catch just you know kind of catching up the people how me and mugs met uh me and mugs met in hempstead i uh, went to elementary school together and um you know fast forward i you know i, I learned that that mugs rapped mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and it it, it it was crazy that it was crazy, like the videos started popping up. Like I seen him po- posting videos, but you know, uh, shout out to Man, uh, yeah. A-Side. Word. Um, I seen him in the video with Man and, and uh, you know, one of the homies from Hempstead and, and T. And I'm like, yo, this dude can rap. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like he rap rap, like rap rap. You know what I'm saying? Like he brought up, I ain't know this. Um, but before we get into the project, I, I'm sure everybody want to know like, when you first when you, when did you first start rapping? Um, shoot, I'd have to say as a kid, really, like, but it, I don't know the age, man. It, it was young though, elementary school. Me and the bro rider, you know, rider, free rider, right oh, now. That was a rider right now. But we was kids, you know what I'm saying? And we like a year and some change apart, so we. We neck and neck, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's my ace, my day one, as they say. So we would, we would, um, we would, we had this little radio, you know, back then to tape decks, and you could record, you could play, you could kind of like play the music and record on the other side or whatever. So me and him, just being kids, silly, we would do like mock interviews, um, playing around, doing voices, cartoon characters. But we would just mess around, just rhyming, just freestyling, nothing serious. So, um, but that is that is the beginning, I would say, because back then, like I said, it, we weren't taking it serious. But if you're talking about when I started saying, you know what, I I think I got something, uh, that would that would have had to been more so high school. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I was I was uh, I was on the ball team, on the basketball team, and it would be like a thing where like after the games, they be doing the beat on the, on the ceiling of the bus. Hey, whoever rhyme will rhyme or whatever. And I remember one time like, damn, yo. You know, I was going through a lot. My pops had just passed at the time. Uh, my brother was locked up early. This is this is high school now. You know what I'm saying? My brother got locked mm-hmm. up in 10th grade. Um, and it was like, so, you know, I got a lot of stuff I'm dealing with. Mom's going through what she's going through, trying to raise three boys, but one of the boys in, in prison or whatever. So, you know, you got a lot of stuff built in as a youth. And then it's like, I'm gonna I'm a put something out. And I remember, I remember writing the verse. And I never forget it, man. Like he was on the bus and D-Bell, Clint, you know, you know D-Bell. So he, he, D-Bell. Um, he, he said something that day. Um, and I forget who else was, a few of us rhymed and, and they was like, and I was like, yo, let me, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? I got some, let me, let me get off. So they was like, oh, you got some more? Like, yeah. So uh, back then it was there, you know, uh, my name was Old Dog. You know what I'm saying? That was my, my original MC name was Old Dog, which is where the OB came from. Old, we came from Old Dog, but I just shortened it to OB. 
Um, shout out to my man Rascal. He used to play on the ball team too, but um, he was the one that suggested I abbreviate it just because there were so many old dogs. Anyway, mm. uh, I went. Uh, they they did the beat and and I went off, son. And they went crazy on the bus. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, "Oh shit!" The coach, us, uh, one of the coaches, the assistant coach, he looking back like, "Damn, oh." So so now I'm like, "Damn, like <laughs> right. that is you was like." It was like none other. So at that point, I was like, "Yeah, I, I got something." You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was. Um, what's the word? Uh, it was unorthodox. Mm. You know what I mean? My, I didn't have no like 16 bars. Like my shit was raw anger because that's what I was feeling in pain. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I didn't really know that's what it was. I just was writing how I felt like whatever came right. out, you know what I'm saying um and uh so they went crazy man and then I just started writing more writing more and then you know I got with um uh my man Cash you know shout out to DJ Cash be killing things in, in, in ATL you know what I'm saying um uh Donuts I called him but he went by um Trey Smooth cousin was a part of it back then he was, oh. he was um he like Heist cousin Huh? Yeah, Heights cousin, cousin. Oh, cousin. okay. Yeah, he was he was um universal back then. Mm -hmm. So it was just a lot of cats from the ball crew. We all rhyme, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't originally though, I wasn't a part of the the rapping crew. Like I said, it started a little bit after. Um, but I was just trying to get um cash cousin and and Trey Smooth. They was they was a group called Three Style, and I was like the fake promoter trying to get them to do any little open mic or whatever you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? and after that time on the bus i'm like nah we yeah i'm in you know tap me in so you know what i'm saying we ended up we ended up forming a crew that's where the, the eight side came from that you, that you mentioned you know what i'm saying and that was um that was um short for for homicide originally mm -hmm. homicide 187 you know what i'm saying and that was like that was the origin of of a of a, of a click you know what I'm saying? It was mad of us. And and we uh, you know, it just pretty much stood for murdering or catching bodies on any track that we that we touched. You know what I'm saying? It was one one city, eight different hoods, or and like seven members of us. It was broken down some kind of crazy way how it was science behind it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no just just random homicide one eight seven, everybody think we, we murdering somebody. Literally, it was yeah, just it's like Hempstead, literally. Hempstead bring it bring Hempstead together, I think it was. Word. Word. Yeah, and, and it wasn't it was we kind of just brought the different sides of the town together like Clint said I'm from the desert but then you had people from Terrace with us we had people from Trackside with us we had people from the Heights with us you know what I'm saying uh, the hills or whatever I, I consider myself both desert and the hills you know what I'm saying I was right there in between so um so it was just it was homicide and it was BHC which was bringing him step together yeah yeah word that was they was bringing hell constantly mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then after a while we was always together like as like, i'll be on the heights or I, somebody over here on the hills or the desert like so we just like yo let's just merge it together and make it make it one big click and that's how the, mm -hmm. the eight sides then it became eight side you know what i'm saying and then i was just um just hungry man and, and, and angry and just wanted to get my get my verses out you know what i'm saying uh I don't know. I don't want to go too deep. I could go. Oh, now nah, you good. Far, I'm saying, but you good. Yeah, that's that, that's that's where it all. That's where it began. You know what I'm saying, it started with me and my brother. You know what I'm saying. That's kids messing around with it, playing around. Um, I would I would I would remix songs on the radio, like whatever came on in the radio. I remember I would just go in the bathroom and I would like do the whole song over, freestyle the whole song, but with a whole new concept. Just just being silly, whether it was funny or whether it was just me just going in you know what i mean right I just, it just that was the exercise you know the outside right right people cred ciphers and all of that and that's why i was that's why i used to tell trim about a lot of times too like you know that's why the 90s that's why the 90s was so on point because it was an everyday thing yeah every day every hour you, you don't ever, if a cypher start, you don't ever front on the cypher, you in that cypher, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> no, no matter if you trash or not, you in that, in that you know, everybody getting there. So, um, so, all right, so let's, so, you mentioned a lot of people. Mm -hmm. you got, and, and I know it, 
we from the same hood, so you got some cosigns from a lot of. So that's the thing about when you're a rapper, you got to get the cosign for people in your in your hood first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just how it will go. Like he and he, and Muzz got cosigns from a lot of good people that I, you know, a lot of real people that yeah. that, 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 that he's mentioned. Um, so here's the thing. Here's mm. the crazy. So, so you. You got the cosign, everybody rapping, everybody group, but you didn't stop. Yeah. You didn't stop. And that that and that is important in this conversation. I guess throughout this whole conversation we about to have today, that mugs, okay. he never stopped. Um I wanna I wanna I wanna show y'all something real quick. So look at this. Look at that. So I'm thinking the all these these are all the albums mugs have. He's all his projects. For all the, the solo part. projects, huh? All the solo projects, right? Cause yeah. then, don't, don't, that's nine of them. Then he got how many, how many, um, how many compilation I, projects? How many, how many? I got two joints with Bullet. That's my God brother. I got another joint with John Doe. And if you go back to the, the origin with, 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 with A-Side, I got one compilation joint with, with A-Side. So that's about, I mean, project wise, you probably about like on your 15 joints. Mm hmm. That's a fact. 15 albums or projects that he was a part of. Consistency. If anybody's watching this, consistency is always royalty. It's always, it's always king, queen, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's important. Um, so, Mars, listen. So, mm. we, we allowed Chuck and Walt to listen to the album. Okay, respect. All right. So, whatever questions, whatever how y'all feel about the album, whatever y'all want to ask Muggs, I want, I want to, I want to uh, get into it. You know what I'm saying? And um, we, I, I want Shrim to get into it as well, so we can kind of, kind of really have a conversation about the Renaissance Project and and, and, and the origins and how, because it, it might be a lot of things that Muggs don't even know about. You know the behind the scenes, how the beats got to him, how they were made. So I'm sure he would like to know that as well. So, so yeah, we'll get into that. But yeah, I want I want the floors, y'all. I want y'all to kind of I want to get into like which, uh, what y'all thought about the album. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Um, part one of my like general questions is like, um, like what is your creative process like? I kind of like a lot of different artists have a a, a multitude of ways of attacking it. Some of them just kind of like. The reason I bring this up because I just heard about like Jada Kiss. He was on I think I Am Athlete podcast, and he was talking about like it took him basically about two years to make um, Why, and he was basically oh. taking like different stuff, like you know different experiences, and he was just like taking bits and pieces and like compartmentalizing. He's like, okay, I'm building this song in my head. I just don't have the the full thing built out yet. And then once he heard the actual beat. He put it all together, mm. so so it's kind of like weird, not weird, but it's just fascinating to see how people's you know creative process. Some people, you know, everybody knows the J story, and mm. you know, I just heard about DJ Two talking about Ti's process. So, so how do you attack it? Like, do you just wait for the experience to start hitting you, or you just kind of like, uh, or you just how do you do that? Oh, uh, for me, it, it's it's crazy. It's funny that you mentioned. Um, that song "Why" from Jada. Funny story, I'm a, and I'm going to answer your question at the same time. Like in college, yo, back in college, um, you know, AIM chat, the AOL chat or whatever, yeah. that was the, the thing at that time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm dating myself, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but still, so that was a thing, and you could leave an away message. So they, I, I did shows at my college. I did battles at my college, and so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. But so I would, so people knew I rhyme, you know what I'm saying? And I I used to leave away messages and sometimes I would leave rhymes, like some, some rhymes as my away message. Uh, and one of the joints, I never forget it. This is why I wasn't even a, a thing, right? And it was called why, right? And that was one of my one of my statuses, right? Mm -hmm. it was, it was, uh, my away status, it was, um, it was just talking about why these different things happen, like, mm -hmm. um, at the, uh, talking about I'm a dude Diallo when he got hit by the cops talking about when my sister got shot talking about when my pops got like and it was just like why 
what I'm saying? It was a rhyme though. I just left them like whatever, eight bars. Why you take two and a half clip from the cops? Cause they think like we could do what we want. Shit, we the cops. Why 16 my sister got shot? Cause rivalry cools pop shit. So niggas flip on the block. Why well, I'm 25 but missing my pops. You know what I'm saying? Cause you thought nobody loved them, but I loved you. Why could I love you not? You know what I'm saying? So I was just, it was just, it was just bars. You know what I'm saying? So then when I heard fast forward in the song Jada King with, mm. I was like, that was one of the times I was like, cause I respect kids cause he's, he's nice, like hands down, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I'm nice. Like if I'm That's thinking right. on a level that he gets to it and hearing what you said that he spoke about, it took him a while to do it. Mm -hmm. And I did that and I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? That just came naturally for me. So for me, my creative process is, is, is life, you dig? Like I don't, I don't wanna say I give everybody everything, but you get a lot of pieces of my life or my family's life. So when when I write off feeling, there's there's no song ever unless somebody asks me to get on something like a feature that I that I try to write. Like, oh, I want to write this kind of song, or I want to write this kind of song. You know, I don't I don't do that. Like, I'm a I'm a purist when it comes to this. I got so much so much passion and respect for it. You dig? So. When I linked with Trim after doing uh, that courtroom uh, like podcast y'all had with yeah. the freestyles or whatever, the, um, mm -hmm. that joint, when me and him linked, um, it was a dope connection because Trim hit me, he hit me offline after it. And he said, yeah, yo, da da da, I like what you did on my beat, so on and so forth. And yo, I'd like to work with you, da da da. And I'm like, not saying i've heard people say that before but then it comes with a go on my page and you could buy this beat so i and, and my and, and initially i didn't i didn't know him you know what i'm saying i knew tino you know i knew that was his people so it was just like all right so i i did what i do with any other person who sends me a, 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 a dm like that i was like yo go check this out tell me what you think if if you if you feeling it let's let's see if we can work together but I ain't got no big bag right now. I ain't got no budget. So if we work together, whatever we make is ours. You know what I'm saying? And we can we could build from there. And I typically don't hear anything back. You know what I'm saying? But Trim hit me back like later that weekend. I want to say he was like telling me about songs that he liked and saying like, yo, this part. And I was like, oh, okay, he listening. And then he was like, you want to shoot me some tracks? So I was like, say less, send me them. And he sent me like, I want to say he sent me like four beats that weekend. And I can tell by the beats that he sent me that he really listened. I already knew he did because he was referencing certain things in, in songs that he liked in the, in the uh, response DM. But um, the type of beats he sent out, like, ah, he, 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 he know what I want to hear. Yeah, yeah. Trim, trim good at that. He good yeah, at that. Yeah. So he, he dissected it, which is which I respect. You know what I'm saying? Like I respect somebody who takes the time to listen. Like, yo, if you really real like he said he was, like you wanted to work, then you gonna do your homework. Right. Oh, so them songs, right. them joints he sent me, I wrote I wrote them four songs that week, matter of fact, that same weekend. Like, cause them shit was like automatic. Like, oh, this is oh, this is, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 we're going to do this. You know what I'm saying? And then when we when we started working and then we, you know, we were like, yo, let's put out a project. And that's how the Dark Ages EP, um, that's how the Dark Ages EP came about. But let me, let me correct myself. Let me backtrack. I want to say I had that Renaissance yeah. project title before. Yeah, it was Renaissance Project. <clears throat> and, then, and then the Renaissance Project turned into... The, the dark ages the because dark he, age. like because he he was writing a lot of songs that was like yeah. geared towards like what was going on with the with the pandemic and right, a lot right. of stuff that was going on with the rock with the uh, riots and all of that and uh you know it, it was it was a it, it, it that 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 that's still like black and all of that still some of my favorite songs uh yeah, it, 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 now chuck chuck what was your what's your favorite song on the album him stay at nights. Just saying. <laughs> hey, shout out to Troy. Hey, Troy, for real. I know you got to go, right? But I, I want to get this story. So, so 
let's let's start with the origin of that beat because Troy Troy <laughs> Troy made that started that beat. What's the what's the origin of that beat? Yeah, man. So you know, I remember it like yesterday. We all y'all can hear me clearly. Yeah. yeah cool, 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 cool. So I and what up, what up, everybody? By the way, man. Yeah, but oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, one fun fact, you know, like Troy. So there's a remix. There's a song called Direction that we did a remix on. Troy is on that remix rapping. Uh, you know got a little verse. Yeah. His, oh, now nah, his verse. His verse. Like, I, I love your verse, though. It's one of one of my Appreciate favorites it. on there. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate but yeah, that, but man. yeah, he also produces as well. So yeah, go ahead, go on with that, dog. Yeah, man. So you know, we we uh we sitting in the Death Star. We sitting in the studio chilling, and um, it was me, you, Tino, of course, Trim. Um, our brother Mark and we just in there cooking up beats. It's that type of weekend. I can't remember how long we were there, but we came to just chill, relax, and primarily just cook up beats, right? So, um, and we got so many different things in mind from talking about sync to talking about, you know, old bugs and different things he might be working on and whatnot. So it was just like, just, just make beats, right? So um, I, I started chopping this sample up and um initially i was thinking of it for like a solo instrumental release right and i was like all right let me just put this to the side because i don't i don't know it sounds cool but i don't really know where to go with it so we playing different beats playing different beats and i'm like you know what ah, man let me let the fellas hit this right here so play the horn it was just horns it was no drums no per oh. percussion no nothing it was just the horns chopped up and I look back at Tino, and Tino got this look like, yeah, we, we about to do something with that. And then I look at Trim, and Trim is really like excited too. So I'm like, all right. So Tino starts giving me some input about drums and the sound of the drums and whatnot. And I took a couple sound bites and I'm like, all right, I'll be right back. So I put my headphones back on, went and messed with some drums, took the <laughs> headphones back off, put the speakers back on and was like, what y'all think about this? And he's like, okay, yes. Tino and Trim is like, this is going in the right direction, but man, it needs kind of like, you need a break and different things like that. A lot of things that you hear in the beat. And so I put my headphones back on, start messing around with it, took them back off, played it again. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. So that beat pretty much got made in that studio session, probably just finished mixing, mixing it that night or the next day or something like that. And um, you know, then it was done. Sent it off to Trim, and and next thing you know, they did did what they did behind the scenes. And here we come, old mugs, the beast, the beast lyricist, man. I'm a big fan, by the way. Good and thing. um, of yeah, man. Of course, you go in there and you you do your thing. So, um, but no, it it was a it was a great experience. It really reminded me too of like the power of collaboration. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, because like I said, I was just sitting there. The horns and all that stuff was dope. It was really dope. But just the, the few pieces, it was it was a big impact. The pieces of um, critique that they gave and, and the input that they gave, and it just kept taking the beat to another level. And then it got to where it was at, you know. So yeah, that, yeah. Right. Listen, listen. First, first of all, let me tell you something. First of all, <clears throat> I don't know. First, what was the name of the track? It was called Fast Domino. Joey right? Fast. Joey Fast Domino. Yeah. Joey Fast Joey Domino. Fast Domino. Trim. 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 Joey Fast. <laughs> Now, now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Really? Up, now, I'm gonna tell y'all something. The name of the track is 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 that right? He did not know that Fast Dominoes was a real person. Who didn't know that? Who? Oh. Trim. For real? Trim. Trim did not. Trim names the song that. Stuff comes to my mind. Stuff comes to my mind. I hear stop the cap. No, 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 no. Way. He he was dead. I was like, I said, Trim. Look, I said, my I'm mind like, works a lot of different ways. So. <laughs> Dude, I hear stuff. He did not know that that fast down was a real person. Yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah. It, I heard, it, I heard a name random. somewhere that just floats around. So I, it's, it goes <laughs> nowhere. <That's laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it works. Yeah, them, it them, works. them horns was hitting though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that that fast got busy on that horn too. <laughs> yeah, right. that. Listen, <laughs> sir. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big like proponent of like horns and. If they like with a Dude. jazz kind of aura to and, it, and that that's another thing, man. So like the part where y'all hear the da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, mm -hmm. and like where it like echoed, it was like a big reverb again. Mm -hmm. It sound those were were uh, pieces of feedback that I would get like when they would hear it, and they're like, nah, you got to do something with like the end part of that. And I'm like, okay, cool. Da -da -da -da, what you think about this? And then there it was, and they're like, yo. That's it. So it, it was fun. It was fun, man. Really, really putting that together to get it, you know, to where it is. So yeah, yeah it's like with it's those, like the, with those it's guys like the whole, right there. 
it's like the whole scene from um from like you know when it was talk when it was in the song uh like whoop that trick that's how it was <laughs> I, I, yo <laughs> no, bro, no, no he not was. he ain't he's he not exaggerating <laughs> he's not exaggerating that's how, it was it was such a natural hey, 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 it was it, it was, was such man. a natural thing you know what i'm saying like i was like yeah. yo and the the, the 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 bring it full circle when when Muggs named it him said now I say him said nice I was like what are the chances that Muggs named the song that I worked on <laughs> and he calls it him said nice yeah I was like yo this this beat is 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 a perfect beat like it's it's at all around the way it was made when he yeah. when he, when he named it the the yeah. whole concept of Harlem Nights because I think the original concept we had for it was like what it was like the 1930s right mm. something like that. You know, so so to, for him to to yep. make the name it, him that night, it was it's a perfect it's a yeah, perfect yeah. song. Man. Like I, it I felt promise. like that. It, it, mm. it felt like that. You know what I'm saying? When I when I heard it, the horns, like like Chuck said, like them horns, man. I, I you got some dope horns and some synth <laughs> strings or something. When I heard, it, I was like, oh, this sound like horn twenties or something. Like this is <laughs> crazy, like. I got to tell the story on this joint, so I was just like, I just soon as I heard, I was like, yeah, this, 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 yeah, this, 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 this yeah, perfect, man. perfect. Hempstead Nights, silky slim with the pearly whites Earned a rep being smooth with the ladies Plus could fight, kept the knife in his inside coat pocket 22 strap on his ankle as another option Protégé of chocolate, Tay and OG From around the way, used to run numbers and push Yay, no yeast